Hi, it's Lolo Black here. I'm here today doing my first ever Vanity Planet tutorial with you guys. So this is just going to be a basic skincare regimen. As you can tell, I just woke up. I am busted. I am not invigorated in any way. My skin looks like crap. And I still have a little bit of yesterday's makeup on. Not that I was wearing much yesterday because who wants to get super sweaty teaching a fitness class? with a full face of makeup, not me. So I'm going to be showcasing a couple of my favorite products for you guys today. Number one being my new Spin for Perfect Skin Vanity Planet Travel Set, complete with this adorable pink carrying case. This was a Christmas gift from my husband. And yes, we did Christmas early because neither of us like Christmas. So we just, we tried. And we couldn't do it, so we just decided to give each other presents on like the 12th. You know, because screw tradition, who needs it? I'm also going to be showing you one of my brand new face products from my own personal line of skincare products. This is the Enchanted Soap number one, which is love, luck, money, beauty, and longevity. It has an incredible aroma to it. And it is extremely magical, it's extremely potent, it's an olive oil based soap. So it doesn't dry out your skin in any way, it actually enriches it and makes it feel great. There's no real need for um, body moisturizer or facial moisturizer. I didn't make it specifically for the face, but today, because my skin has been so dry lately, I'm gonna go ahead and use it on my skin. It's got wonderful things inside of it like chamomile, jasmine, uh, turmeric is coating the outside of it so that it doesn't grease up and, and scratch too much and all of that kind of thing. And it's got a lovely crust on the bottom of it of crushed pecans. So you can use it as a two-in-one. It's a body scrub on one side and a normal lather on the other. And then my third product of the day is going to be my Garnier Fructis Micellar Water. This has changed my skin so dramatically and I have to thank Ashley Schwann for putting me on it as well as introducing me to the Vanity Planet. So Ashley, I know you know nothing about me and you have no idea that I exist, but thank you for referring me to two amazing beauty products. You've saved my face. So. That being said, I am going to be uh, using all of these today to show you what I usually do. And my husband knew that I like to use cotton balls to remove my makeup and products with. Um, and he decided he was going to be sweet to me and get some of these really awesome pads from the dollar store actually to remove my makeup with. So you can get like a huge sleeve of makeup removing cotton pads for a single dollar and they work just as well as anything that you're gonna pay full price for at Ulta or Sephora or wherever you shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and like warm my water up a little bit. It's pretty, pretty late in the day so it's already kind of warm. I'm gonna go ahead and just splash my face and then rinse my brush head off so that it gets nice and wet and will create a lather. So the brush head that I'm using now is your basic exfoliator. It's the one with the light gray ring. Um, I love this set because it does have three different brush heads. This is the super exfoliator as far as the brush bristles go. And then my favorite one for actually removing dead skin that's still stuck to your face and will not come off is this silicone based one and it's got these lovely little um i don't know teeth for lack of a better word bristles i don't know and it just really gently scrubs away all of that skin that's really hanging on for dear life it's trying to ruin your makeup as hard as it can so i'm going to start out with this one and then switch over to the rubber My spin brush is wonderful because it has two different speeds as well as three different heads. So if you're in the mood for just like a gentle makeup removal, like not even makeup removal really, but like just in, to clean your face, you just need to put it on number one. If you're really trying to exfoliate something and scrub something off, then you're going to want to use number two and more than likely the rubber head in my opinion. So just go ahead and... Get your face nice and wet. I'm going to slick back those baby hairs because they're driving me crazy. We're ready. Okay, so I'm getting my brush nice and lathered up. So you can see here. 
There you go. Lots of bubbles forming on my bar. Okay. I'm using a speed number one right now. This feels wonderful. Most people are going to tell you not to put this on your eyes, but it's so gentle that you can absolutely use it on your eyes to help clean off some of your mascara and your old makeup. So just do what you feel comfortable with. Honestly, I'm not going to tell you to do it one way or the other. I like to help loosen my mascara because mine is waterproof and it really doesn't even come off with soap. Thank you, Alme. You're amazing. I actually really love their single coat mascara. It's pretty awesome. So I'm switching up to the big boy now. We're going a little faster. Definitely staying away from my eye skin while on this fast setting, even though it is still really gentle. All right, and we don't want, now this brush is water resistant. Not waterproof, so I wouldn't recommend keeping it in your shower. That's just me. I am um, anal retentive and always a better safe than sorry kind of player. So I keep it on the back of my toilet inside its case because I have sliding doors on my shower. So I can very easily just slide my door open, reach out, grab it. I don't actually use that toilet, so I'm not really like worried about getting gross germs on my my brush heads. I'm gonna clean that off really well. I like to let it run on my hand like that. Make sure you're getting everything out. Okay. I'm gonna switch over now, let that dry, switch over now to the plastic brush. Get that a little wet. I don't need any soap for this. And I'm just gonna really quickly go over my problem dry areas. Here, the tip of my nose gets really dry for some ungodly reason. And my T-zone, I'm gonna go ahead and run it through my eyebrows too, because honestly, like my eyebrows hang on to so much makeup. Really get a lot of pimples in there and I don't really understand why. So those brushes are going to dry now and I'm done with Vanity Planet. Um, I do usually use cloth towels on my face, but I've kind of been thinking lately that that could be contributing to my acne because I'm very sensitive to germs and allergens of any kind. Um, and fabric towels tend to create a lot of microbes and mold and disgusting things that I just don't really like very much. So. Now my skin is nice and clean. I'm gonna go through with my micellar water now and I'm gonna remove any dirt or makeup that might have clung to my face somehow. Now I was using this micellar water before I ever had the Vanity Planet Spin for Perfect Skin Brush set. And it does an incredible job on its own. I used it twice a day, once right when I woke up and once right before bed for the first while and then changed up my usage, which actually was a mistake because my skin rebelled the minute that I started a new beauty routine um, and I started getting lots and lots of pimples again. So like all of this is from just a simple change from going twice a day with this to once a day. So. I really, really, really need to keep consistently twice a day. And I love this product because you're not supposed to uh, like wipe it off or scrub. It will keep working all day. So these little micelles, as they're called, they're apparently living little creatures. And they basically eat 
the dirt in your pores. From what I understand, I'm not an expert on micellar water by any stretch of the imagination. So if you have more information on it, I would love to hear from you with this information. But from what I understand, these little micelles like eat all of the dirt out of your pores and really do an incredible job at it. I mean, like I have these permanent red spots on my nose. I am assuming that they're broken blood vessels. I don't know. But it really has taken away like all of my blackheads. Like my chin used to be infested with blackheads. My nose, this area of my cheeks right here, infested with blackheads. For whatever reason, only my right cheek all right here was like blackhead city and I get them really bad up in my temples and around my hairline so I haven't gotten really any pimples at all since I started using this and I wasn't getting any pimples at all while I was maintaining the exact same skincare regimen but now that I've changed it up a little bit I done screwed the pooch so I like to finish off now my face is still too wet to do it at this point but I always finish off my look with putting on the lush bath um, Lush Cosmetics Gorgeous Skin Moisturizer. The brand name is Gorgeous. So um, that's my favorite. You do need to use more than you think you would because if you try and stretch and pull that product more than it wants to go, it turns into like a tree sap kind of consistency. And so you're gonna feel your fingers like dragging your face and it's gonna be awful. So I would say make a lot go a long way with that particular product. But it is fantastic and it smells wonderful. Very piney, I want to say. But there's like underlying smells that I really just, I can't figure out. So you have now been all the way through my beauty face cleaning regimen with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I would love for you guys to just swing on over to VanityPlanet.com and check out the Spin for Perfect Skin brush travel case. Uh, you can choose between white, black, pink, and blue, I believe. I'm not sure about the black. That might not be a real thing. Um, but you can choose between all of those colors and they're fantastic. I have for you some product codes below. They will be listed for you. So give me a little while to get this approved and to upload this. And I will see you guys on YouTube. Bye. Have a good day.